Hi everybody, it's Julie and today I'm going to be working on my fabric flip and my fabric pocket for my two journals. Also want to remind you that the digitals are still on sale. All digitals are on sale through Friday in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. You can find the link in the description box down below and let's get right to it. So I have this napkin from my stash and I have this fabric which I did use um, some of this fabric on the cover of one of the journals but I'm thinking I want to use this for my flip okay so um, let's go ahead we'll pull out this one I thought it would be fun to use this because I do have blue in the journal. Okay, um, now, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave one side. Sewn at this time, at this time. Okay, so I wanna make sure it's gonna fit. I think if I go right up to here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and pull that off and then I can fray the side, this one side. Okay. Okay, so that will give me one. Remember, I need two. And so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go up, cut. And rip it across. So I have this piece of fabric left. And remember, we have to use two fabrics in our journal. So if I use that and I use the other one, then that is going to be two. So, um, and my journals are similar, like not exactly the same because uh, one is a single signature and one is two signatures. I think for the next part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that piece that I had, okay? So I have this piece. And let's make a panel. But before we do that, let's maybe see about um, putting something on there. I'm kind of thinking I want to put her on there. Or the Easter. Yeah, I think, hmm. Yeah, I think we'll put her. So I'm gonna rip it, and then I'm gonna have to find my other, other copy of this. I did go ahead and I have made all my, my copies um, that I needed. And I did get some pages. I had to get out my, um, my drive thing. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's the thing that has all my um, old digitals in it. Okay, so if we go like that, and we cut it right here. Okay. So, um, yeah, so the other day while I was watching a video, I did work these, um, my fabric tacks, working the new fabric tack in with the old. And so, yeah, so there. Okay, and we'll put these aside. Okay, 
Now, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. I was thinking I would stitch it, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, okay, I wanna try and get this in the center if I can. And looking at it, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> I had a feeling I would change my mind about this. I'm going to cut that edge off. Sure I am. So I got my house decorated for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I I think I want to see about having some people over on the Saturday. I really actually want to invite my brother and my boys and then some of my other friends. So um, I'm thinking I might do that. Okay, so there's that. So we added fabric and a digital. And I really think I do want to put this lace on here. Okay, so I'm going to cut right up the center of that. Yeah, I like that, I think. And then um, when I put this in, depending on how it goes in, I think I will probably um, set it up so it has a stack of note under it. That's how I like to do them. So, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wait to put these in. Because I have not bound the journals yet. I'm a, I'm a little behind on some things. Some things I'm right on time. But, there. Okay, so that will be my fabric flip. And then depending on if I think I need it, I may add, um, actually, I may add like one of the clusters that I'm planning on making, my nine clusters. So, but there, I love it. I think that that is going to be a great fabric flip. So I'll be making another one just like that. And now out of my fabric, this fabric, I am going to go ahead and one, two, three. I'm going to cut a four inch. Okay. I'm going to rip a four inch piece. Okay. And then I'm going to rip it at one, two, three, four, five inches. Okay. And one, two, three, four. I'll have both of them ready. Okay, so that's my pocket for this one. And this will be my pocket. I'm going to go ahead and clip these together. So I don't accidentally use this for something else. We'll grab us piece of the the lace also okay so that's my fabric flip stuff I've like I said I've got to find the the um okay so this is going to be five inches by four inches it's going to be a deep pocket um let's go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and Let's see, about ripping. Okay, how come I come down here? Let's see, we did <laughs> two inches. Okay. 
okay? So I grabbed a piece and a two inch. Okay, we'll go ahead and spray that, come over. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I didn't didn't cut enough. Okay. Okay. There's that. And go ahead and do another one. So we have one for each of them. Okay, so these two pieces are for the other pocket. So far, I can probably do both of them. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have that added on. I wonder if we should do a, a second little pocket on here. some of the lace. Okay. Pocket with lace. You know what I have? I have some, I have little pieces of this, but let's go ahead and cut one. Okay. I think I want to put that through there. I'm going to grab one of my needles, big ones, okay, wow, is it closed off, there we go, <laughs> like I did not expect that to be hard to do, okay, so I'm thinking that we can go over, under, over, under, over, and um, put a ribbon through this lace. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, look at that. It looks like it's meant to do that, actually. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, figure this out. I think we can do all the rest of it. I just thought this would be something different, something cool. Okay, which one? There we go. Okay, now I want to make sure that it stays in. Okay, so that can go on there. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? It flipped over, but it's still really pretty. Okay, 
So that can go on there. So I, I am thinking little pocket because I love pockets and I cannot lie. And what that means is if there's a pocket to be made, I'm going to make a pocket. So I want you to notice how fast this is going to be made. And I did not know what I was going to do with this when I, with either one of these, when I came in here, I just knew that, um, I was going to do a fabric pocket and a fabric flip. Now, when you use fabric on fabric for a pocket, you want to go ahead and pull this piece as tight as you can. Okay, so this this top piece, so that when something goes in here, it will it will hold it. Now, your best bet is going to be to to have it hold something like a Project Life card. And I just happen to have some of those. So we will be looking for those. Now, the next thing I'm noticing is I'm probably gonna need to put something in here because I don't want to um, close my pocket. <laughs> should so on the other one we'll put the the band across before we close the pocket how's that sound okay so I've got some plastic here this will work okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put the fabric tack down across here oh gosh what a difference now that it actually comes out okay and we'll put that on there Oh my gosh, I love it. And I think we'll go ahead and go around and just tack this piece around the back on both sides. I, I just think that'll finish it off rather than cutting it. Could do it either way. Okay, so there's my little fabric pocket. Now, this definitely needs um, something else on it. And I, you know what? I have a charm here that says Faith. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the jump ring on. Sure, it's getting stuck on that fabric. <laughs> we'll leave this in just so that you can see real life. It it happens that things just take a minute or ten. Okay, and then we'll just close that up. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna add the little charm. So we have lace and fabric, and we have a fabric base. Okay, I think we can pull that out. There's our, there we go. We've got our little charm here, and um, go ahead and clean that off. Um, you know what? What if, I think we'll take this one, the purple cross, okay, and I'm going to go into where I have some, a variety, I have all kinds of tags, all kinds of different sizes of tags and things, and I'm going to find Oh, I need two of them, huh? Aha. Uh -huh. 
I found two. Okay. Okay. So these will that fit? That will not. That's too. That won't fit. But I'm thinking I can tie this on here also. So what if we went with. Okay, so we're going to move over. Oh, that one. What about that one? There you go. Let's go with that one. Or that one. Yeah, this one with the butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to tear around this. So I'll be doing the same thing on the other pocket. Um, I have to see if I have a charm. If I don't have one, I'll make a charm of some sort. Okay, so there's this. And cut it down a little more. I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. I have this glue out, so I'm going to use this. I am all set on glue and tape. I'm all set on everything. I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to go out for a while. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So I've now used a tag and a digital. And I'm going to go ahead and put this. might be easier to, um, I've got string stuck to my finger. Uh, to put this through a needle. Okay. Rather than, um, okay. I'm going to do it this way. You know what? Do I want it with that? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go through there, through here, back up. Go ahead and tie it. There's string on my finger again. Okay, so again, uh, when I'm done with this pocket, uh, I will probably, I will go ahead, I will be making the other fabric flip and the other pocket, but Tom will be home soon, so, and I still need to finish making dinner, because <laughs> I went ahead and put up St. Patrick's Day, because I'm like, if I don't put it up, then, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's just, it needs, it needed to go up today. That's, okay. I'm going to pull this through. Okay. Okay. So with our little tag and the little faith on there and it is ready to go in the journal and i do have my fabric flip so um, to give you an idea God, my hands are so cold um, so i will i will put this probably on a strong like a cardstock piece like this one and um so that like that might even be where it goes i mean why not why not put it in there so i will want to make a paper clip to hold this down and i will probably want to put um, something under it. We'll see. 
Okay, our fabric flip is not an ensemble this time. It's just the fabric flip itself. So again, we could make like one of the little tags and have it hang down here also. That might be kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna get a, a paper clip and add that just so that it's not flapping around. Okay, so there's that. And then um, same thing again, I'm gonna want a cardstock piece that's probably not next to, um, ooh, I like, how about in the center? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Is something else supposed to go here? If it is, I'll have to put it on something else. It's okay. I'm putting this down. So in this journal, which is the single signature, I'm going to go ahead and put this pocket on this lined paper. Um, this might not be the center because I'm thinking that it needs, it's a center, it gets a double page, the center fold in the center here. But this can go on my lined blue paper. Okay, now it's fabric, so I want to pull it out. Okay. So I probably will find the same, the blue lined paper in the other journal and put it on there, but look at how pretty that is. And, um, you know, what a surprise to be going through the journal and find this. And, you know, it might be kind of neat because she's looking up to have like a something here. Okay. And then this is where my double stack pocket is going to go. So you're, dri you're, you're driving, you're driving through and you come back and you get this page. I think that that is gorgeous. And so... One of these will fit in there perfectly. The hidden journaling card would probably fit in there also. But there we go. And we have uh, two pockets. Because you know me. I love pockets. And I cannot lie. So that is my uh, video for today. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope... You will go ahead and enjoy making a fabric pocket and a fabric flip. We'll, we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so, so our fabric flip is ready. Our fabric pocket, they each have three enhancements or embellishments. So this one... We used this fabric as the base. We added fabric, a digital, and we added lace. Okay, and it's a different piece of fabric. On this one, we used a fabric as a base. We added another piece of fabric. We added our lace. We enhanced it by putting a lace or a fabric ribbon through here. And then we've added a charm and we made our own charm here out of um, one of the digitals. So that is fabric pocket, fabric flip, and um, I think they are perfect <laughs> for this journal. Um, yeah. So do you uh, like using fabric in your journals? Remember last February, we made journals that were fabric journals. They were, the cover was fabric. The pages were fabric. All of the embellishments were fabric. I will put the playlist for that in the description box down below because it was a lot of fun and it's amazing what you can do with fabric. And so there you go. 
Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget that the digitals are still on sale for 40% off in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop through Friday. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.